What's going on, guys? If you have one of these type of go-kart wheels with the spacer, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a spacer in there. Well, what happened was um, it shredded. I don't know if it must have hit something or what, but it shredded these little anchor points on the wheels. This is a two-piece two piece rim. So, even though it broke, um, it broke the top, there's still enough thread in there. So you can uh, hold the wheel together. So what I did is I went and I got these really long bolts from Home Depot. Just the number right there. And this is uh, the bolt is wide enough that it goes all the way through. As you can see. And, you, and then what I did is I drilled this side out from the inside. If you try to drill it from the outside, they, they put a cap. They put a cap or plugged it with something. And the way they smoothed it out, I don't know, I couldn't get a drill bit to really drill, uh, drill through it. But then again, I had shitty drill bits. So then when, what I did is I just came in from the top. And that, that was like butter. And then, uh, so what, what you do after that is you literally just line up your holes. And the bolts are going to come out on this side. And make sure you use a washer on both sides. With a buzzing woody. And then a ram. Alright, so then what you do is you put a washer on the other side. You take your nut out. Put that on there. And then you got two options. You can either leave the bolts exposed, sticking out. Or you can just cut them. Or you could get a smaller one. I just kind of roughly measured how long I needed it. But it's going to work out perfect. I'm going to have my wheel back. Because uh, these shits are $100. Let me show you the go-kart. Turning these bad boys up. Missing one nut and the other bolt and washers and that. Gotta track it down. But either way, look at that should look badass, don't it? And we got our wheel back. Check that out. See, this is how they look. See, they're plugged up. That's how they look on the other side. They got the little bolts. Actually, they got the little bolts going through here. I guess the other one had them um, in these because uh, it held the, the little sprocket. Need to repair one of the wheels. That is a cheap solution. I spent six bucks on the on the bolts and the washers and the nuts. So back on the road. And there she is. Just gotta move the motor. Reposition it. Good to go. Um, I forgot to add the brake, so I added the brake. It's held on by three of them, so you got to screw the other three in first. I was missing the sixth one, so I'll put that in later. But I'm just gonna cut those off with the grinder so they're not sticking out. They were all this size that would have been cool I would have left it but for safety reasons we don't want shins we don't want nobody's shins to get slashed so we'll take it out that boy wild look at how he drifted like a maniac 